isn't even half of them this might be the biggest haul yet hey booze what's up welcome back to my channel today's video your girl is back with another very huge very pink very girly very fall inspired girly haul if you guys remember in my last video we went shopping for fall decor and pink stuff practically everywhere and we hit so many jackpots in tj maxx and marshall's and ross and all those stores so i'm dying to show you guys what all i picked up i'm not even going to go through my full intro you guys already know the drill this one's going to be a longer haul so get your snack get your coffee get your credit cards ready and if you enjoy today's video and this is your first time here and you want to be friends then go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay so this is going to take me a minute to get through all this stuff you guys remember in my previous video we went everywhere and my intention that day was I was going to buy whatever I saw that I liked because I had a little bit of extra spending money. I've been trying to do good on shopping here lately and not just buying any little thing. But I literally found just about everything I was looking for that day. I could not believe it. I posted some of my shopping vlog on Instagram and somebody was like, girl, you found so many jackpots. You should go buy a lottery ticket. And yeah, I think that was probably one of my best shopping days ever so i'm gonna start off with what i got at tj maxx and i've got i think three or four of these tj maxx bags here so let's start off with what i got from tj maxx first some of this stuff was from that day and then i went back to tj maxx yesterday and found a couple other things too so first up is a mug and we found a ton of fall mugs that day And this was one that I was looking for and I was so happy I found it. So is this not the cutest thing ever? It says Fabulous and it's got the little ghost. It's double-sided. I love when I get a double-sided mug. How cute is this? This one was only $4.99 at TJ Maxx and it came with a little, if I could get the tags off, it came with a little ghost and tassel keychain that's super cute this pink and black color right here like this is my whole vibe for halloween i love the pink and black mixed together so yeah i thought this mug was super cute Ooh, if i don't break it the next one i can't even remember oh yeah this one right here so this is one of the ones that i found yesterday when i went to tj maxx and look at it it says i put a spell on you this is like hocus pocus vibes right here i love the mixture of the pink and black on this one too i think this is so cute this one was only 4.99 too which is crazy for a coffee mug this is a bigger one as well and it's double-sided like this is everything i can't wait with all the mugs i got i'm gonna redo my coffee bar area and like have all of my halloween mugs facing up front so I was kind of short on Halloween mugs and fall mugs I didn't really have that many so I'm about to have a really good collection after this video and then okay I need to find somewhere to put this stuff without breaking them and then I found a pair this is a two pack of those fuzzy socks and these are actually Hallmark socks Kind of weird or are these not so cute they're just really soft and i love wearing these in the fall just around the house so these were only 5.99 for two pairs and the second pair is just pink and then it's got like this little candy corn looking stripe up here and then this one has pumpkins on it and these right here are like total candy corn vibes i got these for the pink pairs but yeah i just thought these were super cute and then in my next bag, hopefully I don't get these confused. Okay, we got more mugs. This is another set that I found yesterday at TJ Maxx. And I was looking for these for probably three weeks now and I didn't think I was going to find them. How adorable are these? So it's two of them and it says Good Witch and then it says Wicked Witch. That whole pink and black combo. 
these are double sided too how freaking cute are these so these were only $7.99 and they stack on top of each other I'll probably definitely be keeping these out on the top of my coffee bar yeah this is kind of like Christmas all over again because I don't know what's coming out of the bag because half of everything is wrapped so I'm really excited for myself <laughs> Okay, so this was a tumbler that I found yesterday, and you guys know why I got this one, because it's pink and gold. This is so cute. It says, coffee is my BFF, and this one was only $7.99. I just think the pink and gold combo is really pretty, and yes, coffee is my best friend. <laughs> also found another set of these pink travel cups and this is in a different design this one has bats on them and then it's got these really cute ghost sleeves that go on top i love these for if you're just running out of the house and you want to take your coffee with you i do not okay yeah these were only 4.99 too so it looks like a lot of these mugs i got were 4.99 which is a really good deal almost knocked you guys off my tripod and then next up, so this is a makeup find, and I was so surprised to see this in there. I got the Kylie lip liner, and this one is in shade Coconut. I found the lip liner and the highlighter. I didn't get the highlighter because it was kind of, I don't know, it just looked like a little bit of a funky color. But this lip liner, I'm wearing it today, and I'm going to go back and get more of these because this color is the perfect nude. Here's what it looks like. And her lip liners always glide on so soft, so smooth. And this is half price at TJ Maxx. So I want to go back and stock up on these, especially if they get more shades. And speaking of lips, I'm probably about to be a lipstick connoisseur because I'm going for my first round of lip filler this week. If you guys want to see me vlog it, let me know in the comments. I thought about putting it in a little girly vlog just in case there was someone else out there like me. Like this is my first time and I really have no clue what to expect. But I do want to get a little bit of lip filler. I feel like my lips have kind of deflated the older I get. So I'm really excited for that. So be expecting lots of new lipstick finds because I know once I get them done, I'm probably going to go ham on buying lipsticks. Yeah, I will say though, I am a little bit nervous because I've heard that it really, really hurts with the needles. So... I'm a little nervous about it. If any of you have had it done, let me know in the comments how bad is it. My mom told me I should take a stress ball with me or that they'll offer me one. So, not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, my next mug. You guys remember this one that we found? The Hello Kitty. I started to leave this one behind only because it was purple. But then I was like, this is just too cute. And for $5.99, I got a feeling if I don't get it, I'm going to regret it. And I feel like I'm kind of going to be a little bit addicted to the Hello Kitty stuff. It's just popping up everywhere now and it's so cute. And I did used to like Hello Kitty when I was a little girl. So yeah, I kind of bought, I got quite a few mugs of the Hello Kitty stuff while we were there the other day. And I don't know, I just think it's so cute. Okay, I need to pause and go grab another round of bags. So one sec. Okay, I'm going to move on to Marshall's next, but I had one last mug from TJ Maxx, and it's another Hello Kitty. This one is like a unicorn find. It was super hard to find, and I noticed everybody else that was hunting it said it took a long time. They just go so quick, so when I saw this, I almost had a heart attack. This one was only $5.99, and it's huge. I love a good, like I love a good size coffee mug because... I pour a big cup of coffee in the morning and yeah this one is just too cute she's got her little skeleton outfit on and it's got the little cobweb and the little moon with the bats and it's pink of course so yeah okay so from Marshall guys I'm running out of room here from Marshall some more mugs. I know, I know, half of this haul seems like it's coffee mugs, but I do have some other stuff, but I did get a lot of coffee mugs. 
Okay, so this sweet and spooky, but you guys gotta admit the mugs I got were too cute to leave behind. So I may have gotten a lot of them, but they were just too cute to leave. This one says sweet and spooky, and there's another one that looks very similar to this that says hey boo that I'm hunting. So fingers crossed I find that this week. This one was $5.99 from Marshalls, and it's double sided too, and it's a big size. I just think this one is so cute. And then, lay that right there. And then this one, so I'm probably gonna paint her because there's two different versions of this one. The other one is at Home Goods and it's got a pink bow. But you guys know this was one of the main ones that I was hunting for. How adorable is this? So I'm gonna get some pink paint and paint her bow pink because I don't know if I'm gonna find the pink one in Home Goods, but. Yeah, and the one at Home Goods says Hello Kitty on the back of it in cursive. Maybe I'll find it, but this one was $9.99 for Marshalls. It's probably not one that's going to be too practical to drink out of, but I think this is going to be really cute displayed on my coffee bar. And I think I'm about to start a Hello Kitty mug collection. Since I've already got a few over here, I think I'm about to start collecting them. But is this not the cutest thing ever? This is like classic Hello Kitty right here. And my last one was I got two pumpkin spice palettes and we did that giveaway for one of these for you guys. So I'm gonna pop the winner up right here and congratulations, Amber. Just send me a email. My email is down in my description box. Send me a screenshot of you being subscribed to my channel and your address and I will get your palette out in the mail to you. I've already used this one. I didn't think I was going to, but the eyeshadows are actually really smooth and pretty pigmented. So I'm really happy with it. And how cute is this? If I can find some more of these, I'll put these in another giveaway for you guys. Again, I'm going to try to do small giveaways like this pretty often on my channel, um, especially like when we go shopping on the shopping vlogs. So if you don't win this time, don't worry. I promise I will have another one coming up soon. I'm going to try to do these regular throughout Halloween and Christmas because I'm gonna be shopping a ton because the stores are loaded. So I will pick some stuff up for you guys too. But yeah, congratulations, Amber. Just send me that email. But that was the last thing that I got from Marshalls. And thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway. Promise I'll have another one coming up very, very soon. Okay, so next is Michael's Craft Store. And I didn't find everything I was looking for that day. There were some pastel Halloween candle holders and stuff that I didn't find. So I'm going to go to another Michael's next week and see if I can find those. But I did find this really cute book stack. And it says The Witch is In. I just thought this was adorable. I might sit this on my coffee bar area. Or I might st uh, stick this on my lac shelf back here. But thought this was really cute. This was $14.99 and it was on sale for 40% off. Everything was 40% off at Michael's. So if you've been wanting to go, now is the time because it's all on sale. And then next I got, I can't even remember what's in here. Oh yeah, I got this for my coffee bar too. And I'm so excited. My vanity is not all the way finished decorating. My room isn't either, but I'm probably going to start on that in the next week or two. So be expecting a fall decorate with me and a fall room tour because I am so excited to go all out decorating. But I got this for my coffee bar. It's this little canister and I'll probably stick. Does it even open? I can't get it open. Okay. Yeah, I cannot get it open. Anyways, if it opens, I'm going to stick some little sugars in here and keep this on my coffee bar. But it says magic pumpkin, pumpkin juice. This was $9.99 and it was on sale for 40% off too. And then the last thing I got was this little ghost mug. And I have some similar to this, but the whole reason I got this one is because it had the little pink dimples and I just thought it looked really cute, especially with, it's got like a matte texture. I just thought this one was adorable. This one was $9.99, but how cute is that? Little ghost mug. Okay, so I'm literally the most clumsy rushed person ever. Every time I film, if it's a haul, I've got tons of bags scattered right in front of me so I can reach them easy. And then I've got like 
just a clutter cluttered mess so I had this nutcracker standing up and I had my little Hello Kitty mug in my hand because I was getting ready to move it and I just did the full splits and broke my nutcracker yeah I'm gonna have to see if I can glue this back he fits back together good and it does still light up but he's broke fell right out of my hands and I literally did the splits so for our first item so I can go ahead and show this and sit it down before I break it even more I picked up this this one is pretty tall this really cute lighted nutcracker this was at at-home stores this was only $21.99 and is this not the cutest I have a nutcracker fetish I started collecting them last year and it's kind of hard to find the bigger ones so I love this one the size of him I know it's crazy it's only September and I'm buying Christmas decor but all of the Christmas stuff especially at at home store and home goods sells out super quick so you've kind of got to buy it really quick or it's gonna be gone but yeah hopefully I can glue him back because half of his body is missing I didn't get any of the gingerbread houses that light up because I already got three of those last year. But if any of you guys are looking for the pastel gingerbread house that was in my last shopping vlog at, at Home Store, make sure to get online or go to your stores now because that one is going to sell out very, very quick. Everybody's hunting it and I remember last year it was a nightmare trying to get it. But next I picked up these little pastel Halloween trees. I thought these were really cute because they're pink and green. I love pastel colors for Christmas and yeah i just thought these were really cute these were 7.99 i think these would be cute decorated around my gingerbread houses and then next up i thought this was really really cute this was only 9.99 it's a little ballet like nutcracker scene and it says joy and it's got the little christmas tree and the little um nutcracker and the ballet woman i just thought this would be really cute displayed on my bookshelf they had so much cute pastel christmas decor and there's a different pastel gingerbread house i'm looking for but it hasn't gotten in stores yet so i probably will be going back there here soon to get some more christmas stuff but i didn't want to overdo it too much right now so yeah that's what i got from at home store next i am gonna get my i've got some victoria secret stuff some sephora some ulta and then some amazon stuff and a pr package so let me grab those and see if i can get those without doing the splits again and i will be right back okay i totally forgot i had one last thing that i got from ross and it was this juicy couture conductor's hat I think this is adorable it has the gold chain and it's got the JC logo I personally still rock these I love them it's I don't know I'll never get over these especially for the fall I think this would be super cute with a black turtleneck or whatever and some boots so so if you guys still like wearing those like I do definitely check out your Ross because that's where I always find those at so next up I got my Victoria's Secret and I was so excited for this perfume. I knew I was gonna get it either way if it didn't smell good, but the fact that when I smelled it, I knew I had to have the 3.4 ounce. This one smells so good. So I got the Victoria's Secret Teas Sugar Floor Perfume, and I got the whole collection, or not a whole collection, but I got three things from the collection. So they had a deal going on while I was there. For $88, you get the 3.4 ounce, perfume you can get the body spray and a body polish for $88 and then if you have the Victoria's Secret card and you get coupons in the mail I had a 30% off so it made it it made it a really good deal so I would recommend if you're going to get the perfume and you like the way it smells go ahead and get the whole gift set because layering this scent up I got so many compliments as soon as I um, started wearing it out. It just, it smells so good. So here is what the bottle looks like. The bottle is absolutely everything. And this perfume has notes of jasmine, caramel, apple. And the best way to describe it is just, I don't know, sweet. And it's like candy. Kind of reminds me of some of the Britney Spears perfumes back in the day. And it also has like a Juicy Couture perfume vibe. 
very sweet very feminine and honestly i think because it has the apple oh, it smells so good i think because it has the apple in it it has a it's got like a fall vibe going on to it as soon as i put this on it just kind of reminded me of fall so i think it's the perfect scent for fall right now and the body spray smells amazing i'm loving this i wish i would have got the lotion i wish i could have swapped the body polish for the lotion so here's the body polish has a good scent and it does leave my skin feeling it's very smooth and very it, like it has a really shiny look once i get through using it but it's such a mess going on and it's just really greasy so kind of not a fan of the body polish i mean i'll use it but not as much as i would the regular lotion i wish i could have swapped it out for that but definitely think definitely think it's worth going to the stores and testing this one out because i was just so excited as soon as i smelled it anytime i buy a lot of perfumes for the bottle but there are times like it, it's got to smell good for me to buy it and this one just man they killed the scent on this one this one definitely beats the original tees by far in my opinion and all of my girls on instagram when I posted this and any of the girls that had gotten it too all said that they 10 out of 10 loved it. So yeah, highly recommend this one. And so next I went by Ulta and Sephora and picked up a couple of things from Sephora. They had these Too Faced lip balms on sale at the checkout counter for $12.00. And I was like, it's 12 bucks. I'm going to get it because I love these. This is the Hangover Pillow Balm. And this one is the watermelon one. It's really pretty on. It's just a nice pink. It's got like a pink scent. And it smells like watermelon. Sorry, did I say watermelon? It's watermelon. It's called Watermelon Kiss. So Sephora has these on sale right now. And then I went in there originally for... This one is a TikTok buy. I kept seeing the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder on TikTok everywhere for your under eyes. And everybody was like, it makes it look like Facetune in a powder. So I was like, I need to try this. So I went in and I wanted to get the mini powder in shade two because this full size is $45, I think it was. But the mini was 20. Of course, they didn't have shade two. So I had to pay full price for this one. But the guy in there was like, you will not regret it. So I got shade two and I've been setting my under eyes with it. And I've also been doing just like an all over set. And I will say it does have a really good blurring effect. If you can find the mini size, I would, I would recommend going mini because I mean, it's going to take me forever to use this whole compact. But I will say it's got a very pretty blurring effect and it's brightening too. I went with shade two and it gives you a little bit of like a lift under your eyes. So I was happy with this one. And then from Ulta, I got a new set of nails, which I'm already wearing, but I did want to just mention these because it's my first time going with this style. So this is the Glamnetic and this is in Creme de Nude. I've already got them on. I did my nails that day in that vlog, but they're just really pretty nude nails. I went back to the long ones. I couldn't go with the short, but I love the Glamnetics. And the last two were restocks. I got a Better Than Sex eyeliner from Too Faced and my brow pencil in shade Dark Brown. Their brow pencil is the only one I can use. The eyeliner, I'm a little bummed I bought because it's $22 in Ulta. And I noticed this week at TJ Maxx, people have been finding the same eyeliner for like $11. So, wish I wouldn't have bought that from there because I probably could have found it at TJ Maxx. Okay, this next one is an Amazon find, and this is from the company V&V Bling, Bling Cups, and this cup right here, is this not absolutely stunning? So, this one gives me total Y2K vibes. 
This was $45 on Amazon, but some of the Instagram shops that I see with these, which I know they probably hand make them, but they run for like $100 and up. So for me, this was like a no brainer. I've wanted one of these cups for forever. They had this pink one, they had teal, and then a couple other different colors. So I'll link it down in my description box. But is this not so pretty? So I carried this last week with my blinged out Prada bag that you guys saw a couple weeks back and it's like the perfect combo I just I don't know I love this it's a metal tumbler so yeah I don't know I just thought this one was absolutely adorable and I'm kind of on a bling kick right now with all the blingy stuff so I probably will go back and get a couple different colors of these I think they had a lighter pink one too and then I got in trying to reach over here without dropping everything there just went something and then I got in a package from SL Miss Glam and she sent me some more of her beauty blenders and these are all I use right now I can get it open I've already taken half out of here I just got this in the other day but they're pink and I've almost got it you guys hold on and it just dropped they're pink beauty blenders super cute and very soft I love them and then she also sent me her new makeup carrying case how pretty is this so it's pink and it's got the SL Miss Glam logo right here I love how it's clear so you can see what you're carrying with you and then it's got the gold accents I need to kind of like pull it out just a little bit because it's a little bit crumpled up from being smushed in that box but is this not so cute so I always have a discount code with her if you guys ever want to shop any of her items my discount code works for 20% off and I think it's Lindsay 20 I'll pop it up right here or keep it in my description box but yeah I think this is so cute this is a new release and this will be really pretty with her new brushes that she sent me a couple weeks back in here whenever I go out of town I'll probably be carrying those with me so I don't know I just think this is adorable okay so this was a long haul if you've made it to this point in the video drop some pumpkin emojis down below because this has been a long one my room is an absolute mess and my head feels a little crazy right now because I can't remember if there's anything left but I think this is everything for this haul so <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you all had a great weekend and I hope you all have a great rest of your week or start to your week. I hope you all have a great week. I love you guys so much. I will see you back here on my next one. And on my next one, I'm probably going to have a girly vlog and possibly we'll get into the fall decor decorating here soon i don't know but yeah make sure that you're subscribed and you have notification bells on that way you don't miss out i love you guys and i'll see you back here on the next one bye guys